Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to destroy my phone. Just kidding. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the brakes on the rear of a Volvo. In my case it's an S60. This will also go for the XC60 from 2010 all the way to 2017 as well as the Volvo XC70 cross country wagon. Uh, all these cars that are, have these brakes that also have the electronic parking brake, that's what this video applies to. And Next step is to remove the caliper with these two 13 millimeter bolts. So you're going to remove the 13 millimeter bolts, clamp down the inner side with the 15 millimeter, and it should come right off. I just want you to know one thing, these screws right here, if you're going to reuse them, careful on the way out of the electric motor here. They're definitely, definitely complicated to get out. I had to get creative because my T30 bit here is not long enough to get around the actual motor. Uh, I was able to do it with a screwdriver that had grips with an adjustable wrench. Uh, that's how I was able to manage to do it, but if you're going to do this job, make sure that you have T30s that are long enough sockets to get around the motor. So next, I'm going to actually remove the motor and proceed forward. Now that the motor's out, you take a T40 here to remove, or to turn it clockwise to adjust the caliper in. This isn't hard to screw in. Once it stops, I mean, you don't have to put really much force. You can really hand, hand tighten it in. Once it stops, just go ahead and compress the caliper. So here we are, I'm gonna go compress the caliper. Okay, now that the motor is reinstalled, caliper is collapsed, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the brake pads here. And the, I'm gonna remove the brake pads, but first I'm gonna remove the caliper mount. Break, the brake mount here, and that's a 15 millimeter bolt in the back here. There's two of them, bottom top. Whew! Holy smack! It was probably the hardest caliper brake I've ever had to remove from a car. I don't understand. Those screws, those bolts are not even rusted, so be prepared to put up a fight um, if your car sits outside or whatever. But look at these pads. This one on the inside is almost gone completely. So it's a good thing we're changing these brake pads. So I'm just going to go get some water, and then the next thing I'm going to do is remove the T40 bolt right there to get the caliper off. You definitely want some head ear protections for this. Whew. There's the old rotor. Guys, check that out, and there's a nice groove on the inside. These things have seen better days. All right, so before I do the reinstall, I just want to show you that I got Bosch rotors, guys. These are, Volvo, uh, these are Volvo rotors. As you can see on the inside, it's got the grooves to help disperse the heat, to help the rotors from going bad. So I just want you guys to, I just want to point that out to you guys, because when you're shopping for new rotors, or if you're looking into doing the rotors, make sure you're getting the Bosch brand, not some cheap brand without that, because otherwise you're going to have heat heat warpage pretty quickly from these rotors. Uh, based on knowing Volvo and seeing parts that are being put onto the Volvo, it looks like Bosch probably manufactures these parts 
for Volvo. So instead of buying the OEM genuine Saab, or excuse me, genuine Volvo, go ahead and just buy the Bosch brand and save yourself a couple bucks. So I'm just gonna clean this rotor with some brake clean and reinstall everything in reverse. Okay, so let that dry for a minute and then let's just reinstall everything in reverse. All right, so the pads are back on, in place. I'm just gonna go ahead, tighten down all the bolts and just reassemble everything in reverse. Uh, the job is pretty much that easy. A little time consuming with certain parts. You gotta be careful with certain screws. If you don't have extras to replace them, certainly be careful if you do. Um, I mean, if you mess things up, you're gonna have to drill it out. So hey, take your time. It's pretty much that easy. All right, guys. As you can see, everything's back together. Just as simple as tightening everything back down once you get it all apart and freshen up the brakes. If you like what you see, if it's your first time hitting this page, if it's your first time seeing my videos and my page, I suggest hit the subscribe, hit the like, and hit the share. And I love when you guys ask questions and give me your feedback. Positive, negative, all good with me. I'll see you next time.